Hey guys, this is Eric from ET Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a super action statue, SAS Juzo Suzuya from Tokyo Ghoul. Um, I've been waiting for this guy for quite a while. I'm pretty sure everyone has. Um, you know, when they first announced it, like it blew my mind. Um, Tokyo Ghoul is definitely one of my favorite manga. Um, it's really the only one I follow nowadays, um, besides Attack on Titan. But yeah, um, this guy looks really, really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, say some of the issues I have, and the only issue I have really is that. That he is way out of scale um compared with some of my other figures um as a 112 scale collector like i have yugi over here he should be about the same size as yugi right um if i remember correctly i know he's short and he's not that short but i don't know he's definitely not this tall and i do have let me check um wait where's my goku oh yeah my goku is over here uh, look at that he's about the same size as goku well, if not taller, because Goku has all that hair. But anyways, yeah, I'm just going to say that right now. Like, he is a little bit out of scale. But other than that, he looks amazing. Like, Super Action statues, they make really, really good figure. I just hope the articulation is good on this one. So here's the left of the box. Here's the right of the box. And here's the back of the box. And it looks really, really good. Um, the reason why I said um, I hope he has good articulation is that Shu Tsukiyama didn't have good articulation. And we're going to compare that later. But yeah, anyways, let's bust this thing open and see what all we got. Right, so here we have the figure still in the inner packaging and wow he came with a lot of accessories but then we're paying $70 for this guy so I guess we should be expecting at least this much um, my only complaint is that maybe they should have come with another face expression um, I, don't, I just don't think one is enough like you know imported figures are really really good when it comes to like face expressions and everything so I just feel like the more they give us the more we're willing to pay for more right uh, I don't know and yeah, I know it's a little bit early to mention this, but if this is your first time watching my video, I hope you like my video. And if you can go ahead and hit that like button, it will really, really help my channel. Um, also, you know, subscribing is always nice. But then anyways, um, let's jump straight into the figure and see what we got. Alright, so here we have the figure itself. And like I mentioned earlier, Super Action Statue did a really good job on this guy. He looks very, very good. He looks exactly like Juzo, so there's nothing really to talk about over here. Um, I love all the details they're putting on him. And look, just look at the jacket. Like the attention to detail is amazing. Um, obviously, you can't remove all these knife, but you know it's there, and it's really show accurate. I really like this. And let's jump straight into the articulation and see. All right, so got. for the articulation, Juzo is your standard super action statues. He can look up and down no problem. He can turn his head no problem. Um, but the neck joint feels a lot better than some of the other super action statues I have experienced. Um, specifically with Shu. Um, since they're from the same line, I'm just gonna compare them. Um, he can look up and down no problem. He can turn his head, but. Other than that, he just feels really, really stiff. But Juzo over here, um, he feels a lot easier to maneuver around. Like the neck just feels very, very smooth. And this one just you can't really move it around that much. Um, I really do like the net or neck articulation over here because um, it can do stuff like that or like that, you know, like, ugh, wow, yeah, that's cute, I'm good. But yeah, so yeah, the, the neck is actually very good. Um, for the shoulder, the shoulder is connect to like a ball joint and this thing feels very very fragile um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and say that the whole figure feels very very fragile um obviously you guys are gonna like you know know how it moves um it can bend that much like this is very obvious and um the ab crunch is around this much and he can't really bend it backwards because you know obviously there's a jacket over here just not soft enough um the leg it's just he can't really do a kick like he can't do anything other than this like this is as far as it goes i'm really really frustrated by like super action statues like these are supposed to be super posable like well it's not supposed to be super posable because they're super action statues but the character itself should be like very very um i don't know like he he, he does like acrobatics right he should be like a lot more posable than this so i'm actually not very happy with this line um overall so far like look at this this is very very fragile like i was posing around with it and you can you can easily take this off and then you can actually pop this part off as well like this is just too fragile like I don't know, maybe I'm spoiled by SH Figure Arts, but I'm just not very happy with this kind of um, design they're doing over here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in, and then let's jump straight into the accessories. So first off, we have a pair of display open hands, and I really do love the details on all these stitches. It looks really, really good. Alright, so next up, we have another pair of display open hands, and these are just a little bit wider. 
Um, again, I do like the detail on them. I do have a little bit of pink splashing over here, but that's okay. And yeah, that's cool. And next up, we have a pair of Relax Open Hands. And these are probably just used when, um, you know, when characters are doing their relaxing pose. Like, they're just not doing anything. Alright, so next up is probably my favorite hand. But unfortunately, they only came with um, the right hand. Uh, it would have been cool if you can do it with both of his hands, right? That would be so awesome. Um, but then it looks like this. Um, you can actually remove these. Uh, so it's just like a 2V, one small V and one big V and you just combine it together. So that's pretty cool. I really like this. Alright, yeah. so lastly he came with a pair of hands for him to hold his weapons. And yeah, it looks really good. Uh, but I feel like these are still a little bit too small. Uh, well, it, it should be the right size. Maybe I'm just a little bit paranoid. So lastly, he came with interchangeable head and this face looks really, really creepy. I really like that, but I feel like it looks a little bit off from some angle. Um, well, I gotta look at the manga again, but I'm pretty sure this is like a really good iteration from the manga. Um, and here is the queen kit. It comes with two piece and then you just have to assemble it like this. Um, wait, it, it, it is kind of like on a key shape. I gotta be very careful with it. So, yeah. All right, I'm just gonna assemble it like that. And one thing I have to say is that this thing is really fragile. I have never seen anything this fragile. Like, you can't really play with this. This is only meant for posing, which I really don't like it. It's so, 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 so fragile. Like, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna break this. I'm really, really careful with my figures in general, and I almost broke this. Um, so you guys have to be really, really careful when you're handling this. Because I know a lot of you out there handle your figures very, very rough. So you have to be really careful. This thing is very, very fragile. Like, I repeat, this thing is super fragile. You can, I can snap it just like that. Like, it's, it's very easy. Yeah, and let's check out what it looks like. Alright, so here we have Juzo holding the Queen K, and this is probably the worst piece of weapon I have ever seen from a figure. Um, the handle can't handle the weight for the blade. Like... This stick over here, he can't, hand, he just, this thing just, it's just too heavy. Like, it wiggles. Like, this thing just wiggles like no tomorrow. And Juzo can't really hold it all too well. Well, he could hold it, but I just feel like it's, like, once this drop on the floor, like, your, your queen kid is fucked. Like, it's just, it's gonna break. So, I don't really recommend posing with this unless you're 100% you're not gonna drop this. Um, I certainly don't recommend playing with this. You're gonna snap this very very easily um just to compare um the sword from 72 over here is thinner than a handle but it feels more durable than a handle that's just how fragile this thing is um, let me just show you guys right here it just it feels i can i, I really want to just snap it just to like you know show you how fragile this is but i'm not going to do that um because this guy is very expensive but anyways um let's jump straight into the size comparison all right so now let's talk about the most serious issue over here this guy is way out of scale like this is just ridiculous he's not even in scale with his own line um i'm pretty sure Shu is at least 20 cm taller than juzo um, do let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I don't think this is right at all. Juzo should be a lot shorter, and I don't know what they're thinking. Like, this just, it turns me off. Like, this is just the worst thing that can ever happen to um this kind of figure. So, I don't know. Um, let's just compare it with some other figures. Alright, so here's Juzo with some of the SH Figure Arts Ultraman figure, and they're about the same height. And next up, we have some SH Figure Arts Avengers figures next to Juzo. And wow, Thor looks really good from this angle. And next up, we have some SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures. And Juzo is taller than every single one of them except Goku. <sighs> I don't know. If Juzo's were Vegeta's height minus the hair, I'd be very happy. Alright, so next up, we have some SH Figure Arts Kamen Riders. And yeah, Juzo is going to be taller than most of the Kamen Riders, if not all. Alright, so next up, we have some Star Wars SH Figure Arts. And he's about the same height as Kylo Ren. And a lot of people are asking me where I got these robes. Um, it's from an eBay seller. Um, just go on eBay and search um, Black Series, like custom robe or something. You guys will find it. Um, yeah. Alright, so next up we have some more random figures, and these are my only domestic figures. Um, hopefully you guys can get a good idea how tall Juzo is. Right, so lastly, here's Juzo compared with some of my favorite Figma figures, and he is just huge compared to Figma's. And let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, hmm, this one is a little bit tricky, so let's do a little bit of recap. Um, let me first talk about what I don't like about a figure. 
Um, first of all, this guy is way too big uh, for my taste. Um, even before this video, I was talking um, to some of the folks um, in my previous video on um, people who like, watch me on a regular basis. Um, we were talking about this guy is just way too big and he's not even in scale with his own line. Like he's supposed to be like 160 cm. That like that is really really sure. I forgot how much that translates to um foot, but you guys can Google that really quickly. But just knowing the fact that he is really small and we know how fast he moves in anime and manga, it just bothers the crap out of me. I can't, I can't really pose him next to Goku or like Naruto, right? Because he's just way too big. Um, but that is my personal issue because I collect uh, 112 scale figures almost exclusively. Um, so if you're someone that collects bigger figures and don't mind about a scale, um, you're not going to have a problem there. Alright, so the second issue I have is that the articulation is just not there. Maybe I'm spoiled by SHP guards. Well, I am spoiled by SHP guards. So um, the playability for me is just not good enough. Like he can't really do a kick or he can't really do any of um, some crazy moves. He can just stand there and looks good, you know, like or look good. But... I don't know. And the third issue I have is he is just way too fragile. I talked about um, how his body is very easy to like, you know, dissect. And he just feels really light compared to um, other figures. Like Figma and SH figures, they feel a little bit more weight. Like it just feels they put a little bit more plastic. But I know um, Super Action Statues use a slightly different material. So I can't really talk much about that. Um, but the weapon is just way too fragile. Like I can't. I can't play with it. Like, this guy is not meant for play. This guy is just meant for display. Um, he looks good here. Like, I'm not saying like he looks bad or anything, but you know, it's just not for me. And I guess that's it um, for my review. Um, it's up to you if you think it's good, but if I can do it again, I probably wouldn't buy it. Um, just because, you know, the size, the frag 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 fragility, is fragility even a word? Or, you know, the playability is just not there for me. But yeah, I love Tokyo Ghoul and I don't think we're going to have any other companies make Tokyo Ghoul um, again. So this is really our only choice. But yeah, um, do let me know in the comments um, what you guys think about a figure. And this, if this is your first time watching my channel, um, like and subscribe will really help me. And thanks for watching. I hope you like the content and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.